In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem called writing and balancing complex half reactions in basic solution. So this problem tells us that we are starting with the iodate ion, that is IO3 minus, and notice here that Alex says we have to add physical states where appropriate. Everything, in, unless it's otherwise specified, everything is going to be aqueous except for water, which is going to be a liquid. So the IO3, it says, is being converted to solid iodine dioxide. So that's going to be IO2 solid. And um, now that we have this stuff in place, we can go ahead and balance it. First, we want to balance the iodines. They are already balanced. Next, we'll balance the oxygen. We have three oxygens on the left side. We only have two on the right. We're going to balance the oxygens by adding water. Remember that water is always going to be a liquid. And then next, we'll be balancing the hydrogens by adding H plus ions. We have two hydrogens on the right-hand side, so that means that we need to have two H plus on the left-hand side. Remember, everything is aqueous except for water which is a liquid the last thing that we need to do here is charge balance so we want to take a look at the total charge on the left hand side we have a negative one and we have a plus two so that's a total charge of plus one and then over on the right hand side we have a total charge of zero we want to find the side that has the higher charge plus one is greater than zero and we're going to add electrons to this side to bring its charge down so that it matches on the right hand side so i got to move this stuff over um, we are going to need one electron on the left hand side this is the one thing that you don't have to include a physical state on where it says include physical states where appropriate electron is the only thing that doesn't need a physical state so when we add that one electron that's going to give us an uh, over overall charge of zero on the left hand side now the last thing that we need to do because this is in basic solution we're not allowed to have h plus in basic solution so what we're going to do is add oh minus ions uh, in the same quantity as our H plus. So however many H pluses we have, that's how many OH minuses we need to add. And remember that at this point, whatever we do to the left-hand side, we also need to do to the right-hand side as well. Otherwise, the equation will get unbalanced. So if we're gonna add two OHs on the left, we need to add two OHs on the right. Those are aqueous. The H plus and the OH minus ions together, they will combine to form water. So instead of writing H plus and OH minus over here, we're just going to be writing 2H2O. Don't forget that water is a uh, liquid. And then the last thing that you want to do is just double check whenever you're making water in these equations. Um, you want to double check to make sure that you cannot, uh, to check and see if you can simplify. So we have water on both the left hand side and the right hand side. That means that we can remove one of those water molecules from each side. We can take one water molecule away from the left and we can also take one water molecule away from the right. And what we're left with is IO3 minus aqueous H2O liquid one electron. And Aldix has got this button for you to enter the electron in. That goes to IO2 solid and 2OH minus aqueous.